Michelle with Mr. And Mrs. Walker's Designs. Just thought I would pop on here. I haven't been on here in, a, I think, a week. So I thought I'd just pop on here and show you some things that I have been working on. Um, been working on a lot of small things. Um, I did do a glue book, and I might do a separate video on that, but um, I just wanted to show you the small things that I've been working on and show you how I've incorporated a uh, a digital kit that I now have available in my Etsy shop and some of those those little projects so um, I will get to that in a little bit so let me set those aside um, last week I worked on some envelopes and some tags and so I made some envelopes. I was determined to figure out how to make um, envelopes on my my one two three punch board and make them a little different than just your typical envelope. So anyway, I ended up making one out of this um, vintage parchment. Just has um, some silk flowers, a little bit of tea dyed paper and a tea dyed or distressed um, scallop punch with a little bit of twine. So I have that sweet little parchment envelope. And then I also have this envelope. This is just some scrapbook paper. So and I just did a little bit of collage on the corner here. This one is wallpaper. So I got this beautiful um, border wallpaper at a flea market. And so I wanted to make some envelopes with it. So I just did a small, this is an embossed tag back here with some fabric and a butterfly that I got in some happy mail. So there's that one. This one again is made out of that scrapbook paper. This is that scrapbook paper that comes on a roll. You've probably seen it in Hobby Lobby. But anyway, here is this one. So this is more of a bag instead of an envelope. I like the way it came out. It's really cute. I love the flowers on this paper. So I just did a little bit of collaging here, kind of in the same tones of the pinks that are in the in the bag. And then the last one is this big. This is another wallpaper envelope. And on this one, I decided to do the bread closures with the wrap um, around them. And this is just some, like, um, I think it's not crochet, but, yeah, crochet yarn, I believe is what this is. So I just did a flap, just a simple little flap and two brads and a little closure like that. I got um, a half, and, and some Happy Meal, I got envelopes similar to this, and I... I modeled it after the one I got um, in that mail. And so then I just did a little bit of collage on the front here. This is an embossed book page in the back here. And then this is some happy mail, happy mail, and happy mail. So I'm trying to use up my happy mail items um, instead of hoarding them. <laughs> and so that was um, last week. Or actually, it's probably been a couple of weeks ago, and, and I just forgot to take a video of it. Um, but then last week, I made some tags, and um, I saw on um, the lady that does the um, videos, her YouTube channel is Attic Lane, and um, I saw where she took book page and glued it down. Um, to a tag or journal card or whatever you want to do and then 
you just sew in different spots and then you rip the paper off so that's what I did with some of these tags like this one for example um, I put this book page down but then I just sewed in different areas so then you can tear it away um, and has this really cool torn grungy look and so I created this tag this is just some distressed or a coffee dyed cheese cloth and a happy meal and the book page and just sewed on um, some lace so there's that one and then there's this one this one has a uh, some of that torn paper in the background it's very subtle and this is just a piece of ephemera I got somewhere I don't even remember where I got that one and then I just stapled on some lace at the top for the topper Here again, here's some of this torn paper that's been sewn on. And then this is, again, some piece of um, ephemera. I don't, I don't know where that came from. And then I just stapled on some really pretty crochet lace on the top of this one. And I also sewed down some twine. So right here, it's got a little bit of texture raised. I don't know if you can see that. So this is twine that's been sewn over with a zigzag stitch. And then I was like, you know, I'm kind of, I was getting a little um, weary of distressing with vintage photo and all the browns. So I thought, you know, I think I'm going to do some monotone, like black and white type of um, tags and stuff. So I ended up doing this. So I had a lot of... Um, um, it's focusing. I had a lot of encyclopedia pages that were in black and white, so I decided I would do the the sewn uh, torn page of it. So I did that with a little doily, some scrapbook paper at the bottom that's music, and um, this came in a Happy Mail. It's like a pattern piece, and then I just topped it with. Uh, a piece of a journal card that I'd cut into. So there's that one. Again, the black and white theme still going here. This is just some upholstery gimp I used as a topper, uh, torn page, sewn on torn page, some ephemera, some lace, some fabric, and then this is a stamped image I did on some muslin. There's that one. This one again. This is actually from a. I think this is from the St. Louis Lewis Museum of Art, a book that came from there, and so I had sewn it on, put some lace on the top. This is a little bitty envelope I got in Happy Mail, journal card that I tore, and then this is just some fabric at the top. It has the gray tones in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there's that one. And then this one I was just kind of fooling around with. Um, this is just file folder that I I um, layered some scraps on. And then I just stamped over it. Um, was trying out some new stamps and stamps I hadn't used before. And then this on the edges is a stencil that I bought at a thrift store and it has all these different um like lines for um that makes it look like stitching but you just draw them or you stencil them on i don't know if you can see that too well but that's what that is so i've been experimenting with that kind of cool So that's what these lines are around the edges. I was playing around with that and then I just stapled on some ribbon at the top. So that's what I, was, I worked on uh, last week and beginning, probably beginning of last week and end of last week. And so this week I decided I was going to try to use up some more scraps. And um, I was like, you know, I think I'm just going to just throw some 
scraps down on some cereal boxes <laughs> that I had um, that I had cut up and I was like yeah they probably won't turn out very well and I'll just use them to I've been wanting to try to uh, redo my ribbon storage and I was just gonna wrap my ribbon around them well I ended up liking them liking them more than I thought I would so I ended up making um, several tags uh, with them so um, all of these tags in some way shape or form have this page right here on them um, this is part of a digital kit that I uploaded to my shop um, our shop Mr. And Mrs. Walker's attic and so I used this on the tag so I could show you how they could be used so um, for example on this one this part right down here that is part of that page and this part right here is part of that page and then the rest of it is just um, it's like wallpaper scrapbook paper wallpaper I did some texture paste to give it some more texture um, this is part of that digital kit as well this little part right here some lace and then this is like some trim that I got at um, I don't remember where I got this to tell you the truth but um, just some trim so I thought this would be a cute and then I backed it with tea stained paper so I thought this one would be cute be different be cute to do like a side um, journal card tuck it in from the side so there's that one I made this one turn it sideways so you can see all of it this is just some fabric I had in my scrap stash um, this is a page you see this part right here this is this page right here so that's just torn out of this and laid down on this and it's laid down on top of some texture paste dots and the dots shown through because I just printed it out on regular copy paper so the dots showed through so I like that I thought that was pretty cool that you're still seeing that texture there then here's some more of that texture and here's another piece of that written page and this page is from um, it's called scientific apparatus it's like a science lab manual or something like that and it's from the 1800s so anyway so there's another piece of that page and we got some lace happy mail happy mail and so there's that tag There's another one this is just um, some of that more more of that really pretty scrapbook paper um, here is just a little bit right here just a little bit a page of that digital kit some more of that blank page from the digital kit this is just some scrapbook paper and some lace and this is happy mail the cow is happy mail so there's that one Okay, I have this one here. Uh, I decided to do something a little different and just top it with um, a doily that I had gotten Happy Mail. And this right here, I've had, I've got more of this in my scrap stash right here. Um, I've been trying to figure out ways to use it because it's so bright and shiny, but I thought it looked pretty cute on here. This is a texture paste through a stencil. And then here is some of that digital kit right through here and then some eyelet lace this right here is contact paper I had a little bit left over so I just cut it and put it on here it's scrapbook paper this is wallpaper down here so there's that one and there's another one okay so here is some more of that digital kit this is happy mail this is a little button sticker that's happy mail texture paste texture paste 
uh, scrapbook paper. There's wallpaper back here. Uh, just plain tea stain paper. Of course, there's tea stain paper on the back and a little lace topper. And then the last one, I think this might be my favorite. I'm not sure though. I like all of them. <laughs> um, this is just, uh, again, a piece of uh, cereal box that's been covered and then it collaged on the front. So that's that scrapbook paper. This is wallpaper down here. Wallpaper, wall, wallpaper. Um, Happy Mail label, piece of trim, eyelet trim for the topper. This is Happy Mail, the little bird. Um, all this is, almost all this is Happy Mail except for my digital that's right here. These words right here is from the digital kit. This is Happy Mail, that's Happy Mail. This is even these little pink polka dots here and here. This was the back of the sticker that this came on. The little bird. So, and there's that one. So there's, the, the reason I scanned in um, this digital kit or decided to upload this digital kit was because it is it is very especially when you print it out on regular paper like this um, it's just you know very good um, for using in collages so so there's that um, let me show you the book this is the front and back cover of the book that that came out of so this could be cut out and used the same way okay um, at the bottom of this page I also scanned in I thought a really cool page from a book from 1850 that could be used as it could be used as uh, a page in a mini journal or it could be used as a pocket or it could be used in collage you know either way Here is that same, okay, this is the inside of the book that I used on all my tags. Here is another digital from the same book. Here's the cover scanned in all together. Um, and then here is the flyleaf and the title page of that. It's Explanation of Chatuk's Common School Scientific Apparatus. Visible, visible objects in machinery, the common branches of education from the alphabet to astronomy by Cyrus Shatuk. I, I guess that's how you say it. <laughs> I'm not sure, but anyway, there's that page. Okay, this is from a different book. This is from an uh, almanac. So this was this is the cover of the book. I thought this was really cool and be a really great um you know, collage fodder. I mean, it's it's just beautiful. The patina and the the wearing is just I thought just really, really, really pretty. So we have that. Here is part of the inside of that almanac. It is a uh, reprint from the 1691 almanac, and it's printed in around 1844. So you have this page here. This is your flyleaf and title page here. And then you have some of the pages inside here. Here's another page inside that almanac I thought was really cool that I scanned in. Um, it's prayers on this side. And then you got your alphabet on this side. This is where um, <laughs> I accidentally printed it the wrong way but it still can be used for collage it is not wasted that scientific apparatus page okay let me go back to this this one to me is one of the coolest ones this could be actually used as a journal cover probably because it's pretty big it's um let's see it's six and a half so by almost eight so yeah it could be used as a journal cover and you know you could collage or figure out how to you know do some work over here 
to kind of even that up with this side. But this is a really cool book. Here is the back inside cover with the table of wages that you can use. Here is one of the pages from the book. Yeah, it's the same size, okay. Um, this is from 1905, I believe. It's written on one of the pages, I believe it's 1905. And so this is just, it looks like a ledger, but it's actually a time car, or a time book for employees. So you have that. This is um, the inside cover, has measures, number of bricks required to construct any building, and then it has a blank time record on that side. Okay, so there's that one. All of this is in the same kit that I'm showing you. Okay, and then that essay page I showed you earlier, this is also another page from that same book. That book was falling apart, so I thought these were cool and would make great um, pockets or, um, you know, small pages or whatever, or, or collage. So you have this page here, and then this is um, just some copies of a list um, that I found at an estate sale. These are little cards. And they come in a little pouch and I just thought they were really cute they'd be cute to use it's little tucks or little journaling cards inside a journal so you get four of those okay and so that's and then I threw in this freebie um, there was 21 images and I think all together and I was like eh, I think I'll I'll make it even and make it 22 so this is a picture that I took uh, or a photograph I took of a train in downtown Fort Smith and um, so and then the background is um, some paper that I like distressed and then we scanned in the paper I distressed and then we brought the picture in or my husband I should say Mr. Walker brought the photo in to editing software and he melded this and edited this all together and made this really cool uh, vintage looking train image so you get that also and this could be used I mean look at all this cool background you could tear this up and use it as collage or you could fold it and make a cool page out of it so that is all in the same kit and that is available on the um, Mr. And Mrs. Walker's Attic uh, Etsy shop. And then I have another digital kit in the shop and I'm going to, I'm just going to just kind of briefly show you what these are. These are some collages I did on strips of paper. I have strips of cardstock and I thought that would be a good substrate so I did some collaging on them. So these could be easily torn up or cut up into different parts and use this collage or uh, belly bands or tuck spots, pockets, whatever you want to use them for. So those three plus this, these two are paper. Now these two right here are um, fabric washi collage that I did. And these three are fabric washi uh, fabric washi collage so um, I am planning on taking these and making some projects and I will come back on and show you what I do with these with what can be done with those that's really cool but anyway I just wanted to pop on and show you what all I have been working on so here are these tags that I made with the digital kit these all have the digital kit on them like I said in some way and then all these these tags, I was in a kind of a grungy mood when I made these black and white tags and these these floral tags that day. There's the other one. And then I have the envelopes in the bag that I made. Oh, look at this tag. He's kind of a loner. So that's all I've been working on the past week or so. 
Um, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, I am at like around 75 subscribers and I would really like to get to 100. And so when I get to 100, I'll probably have another giveaway. So let's um, see if we can make it to 70, to make it to 100. <laughs> and um, so I would love for you to, to subscribe and to hit that like button if you like this video. And um, also hit that bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. Thank you for watching and God bless. And see you later. Bye-bye.